Hey guys, today we will be learning about 3D shapes and their attributes. A 3D shape or a three-dimensional shape can be defined as a solid figure or an object or shape that has three dimensions, length, width, and height. To classify these 3D shapes, we will look at their vertices, edges, and faces. A face is a single flat surface, and these are usually 2D shapes that we are familiar with. For example, a square. Edges are the lines where two faces meet. And vertices are the points where the edges meet. Let's do some practice on this rectangular prism. Can you count how many vertices this shape has? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. How about its faces? Here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six flat surfaces. So we have six faces. Lastly, let's count the edges. Remember, an edge is where two faces meet and forms a line. So can you try to guess how many edges we have here? Let's see if you guessed right. So we actually have one, two, three, four at the top and another four at the bottom and another four on the sides. So that's a total of 12 edges. Whoa, that's a lot of edges. To make sure we get the hang of this, let's do more practice by matching these shapes to the correct description. A cube. A cube has eight vertices, six faces, and 12 edges. All of its faces are squares. A sphere. A sphere has zero vertices, zero faces, and zero edges. This shape is like a basketball. A square pyramid. A square pyramid has five vertices, five faces, and eight edges. The reason why it's called a square pyramid is because the bottom part, called base, is a square. A triangular prism. A triangular prism has six vertices, five faces, and nine edges. This shape is made of two triangle faces that are connected using three rectangles. Great job! There are more 3D shapes out there, but what's important is that we know how to identify their parts. Well done! Now we've learned more about 3D shapes and their attributes.